Hey y'all, what is up? Welcome to Launch Fitness. I'm excited to share a little bit of a meditative yoga flow with you guys today. So grab your mat and we'll get started. We're actually going to start on all fours, so your hands and knees should be about shoulder width apart, making sure your fingertips are spread nice and wide on the mat. We're going to do a couple cat cows here, so inhale, dropping your belly button down, letting your shoulders roll down your spine, gazing upwards, making sure you're not straining that neck, and then exhale, looking towards your belly button here, following pushing through the mat nice and strong. So the inhale, dropping the shoulders down the back. Tailbone goes up. Exhale, looking towards that belly button, engaging that core. Two more like that. So inhale, drop the belly button down. You can kind of create some movement here. And exhale, towards the belly button. Now the opposite way, so inhale, drop the belly button down, and exhale, hollow, pushing through the mat nice and strong. Good, so hands and knees remain shoulder width apart, neutral spine here. We're gonna tuck the toes, send the tailbone high to the sky, and spin your biceps towards your ears here. I want you to pretend you're opening a jar with both of your hands. So your fingertips are kind of going outwards on the mat. Nice grip there. And then slowly, maybe your heels hit the mat. We can pedal it out or walk the dog here, pushing in opposite palm, opposite heel. Just flowing things nice and easy here, getting things moving, getting the spine moving. And inhale, we'll take tippy toes. Exhale, heels. Making sure you're pushing that chest down towards the mat. Inhale, tippy toes, exhale, heels. Making a nice wave with that spine, we'll come all the way forward to a nice plank or push-up position here. Fingertips nice and wide, rock a little forward, back, side to side. On an inhale, rock onto the outside of the left foot. We're gonna lift through our obliques here for a nice side plank. Now, if you need to modify and drop to the knee, that's perfectly fine. If you want to stagger your stance, right foot in front of the left, that works as well for some balance. Meeting back in the middle here. Same thing on the opposing side, lifting through that right oblique, lifting everything up here for a nice side plank. So again, drop to the knee if you need to. You can also stagger your stance, the left foot in front of the right getting things moving. Let's move with the breath to the middle here. Rock and roll forward and back side to side. Dropping down onto the knees here. So we're going to lower slowly. Hug those elbows in by your side. And on an inhale, we're going to take baby cobra. So pulling your elbows towards your rib cage here. Gazing upwards. Relax through the shoulders. Exhale. Bring your ear to the mouth. Taking your hands next to your chest, nice grip with the mat, tuck the toes under, inhale, full expression here. Cobra, exhale, looking to the left. Inhale, exhale, looking over the right shoulder. Inhale, pushing through the mat, exhale, knees wide, feet together, take a nice child's pose. Releasing that lumbar spine. Couple more big deep breaths. And if you want to walk your hands over towards the left here, so crossing that left hand over the right, creating space between the rib cage here. Same thing on the opposing side. Letting each breath carry you a little bit deeper into the pose. Good. Now, from here, tuck the toes, moving things along. Nice downward dog. Pedal it out once again. And again, inhale, we'll take tippy toes. Exhale, heels. Inhale, tippy toes. 
exhale heels make that nice wave with the spine coming forward here this time we'll rock onto the outside of the right foot lifting everything maybe stepping back for a full expression if you wanted to do that meeting back in the middle same thing other side drop to that knee if you need to opening everything up and finally if you need to drop to the knees that's perfectly fine if not on an exhale lowering down inhale cobra exhale tuck the toes lift the hips down dog pedaling it out once again and on this inhale take that left leg reach it high to the sky standing split here bending at the knee to open up that hip inhale we'll lift the left leg exhale pulling it all the way forward here nice little twist inhale left arm goes up exhale frame that front leg low lunge from crescent lunge here inhale roll the shoulder blades back and down exhale sink inhale exhale sink taking that framing the front leg stepping it back to a plank position from here again forward and back side to side drop to the knees if you need to if not flowing along exhale lower inhale cobra exhale tuck the toes lift the hips down dog from here this time lifting the right leg option to bend at the knee to open up that hip push that chest down towards the mat still inhale lift that leg up high and exhale pull it all the way through from here right arm goes up inhale exhale frame the front leg crescent lunge inhale roll the shoulder blades back and down exhale sink making sure the hips and both feet are straight square forward inhale and exhale good frame that front leg step it on back nice plank position here on the next exhale drop to the knees if you must if not we're lowering down from here tuck the toes push all the way up good push-ups that's one drop to the knees if you need to exhale lower inhale get set exhale push on up drop to the knees inhale we lower exhale Push on up, send it back to a nice downward dog. Beautiful job. And inhale, left leg. Lift it high to the sky. Option to bend at the knee. Push that chest down towards the mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, moving things along. Crescent lunge. From here, we're gonna open up to a nice warrior, gazing over the left fingertips. So your back foot should be angled at about 45 degrees. And on an inhale, taking arms up, exhale, maybe plugging into heart center here. Using that space, inhale, positive energy in, exhale, negative energy out, shake it on out. Looking over your left fingertips, take your left palm, flip it so it's facing the ceiling, reach forward, reverse warrior here. Right arm slides down the outside of your right leg. Exhale, elbow comes to knee, extended side angle. From here, twisting that belly button so it's facing the sky, facing the ceiling. And making sure that left palm whoop, is up, keeping that both feet nice and planted on the ground here. Again, spinning that chest and that belly open towards the ceiling, towards the sky. Take your right arm, come on up, and twisting your left foot so it's facing forward. We'll intertwine our hands behind our back. Open up that chest, chin up. Exhale, lead with your chest as you fold forward. Nice forward fold here. Deep breaths. Really opening into the vertebral column of the lumbar spine here. This should feel great on your lower back. One more big deep breath. Good, hands down. We're gonna 
gonna take our right arm, spin things open, looking up towards your right fingertips here. Exhale, back to the mat. Inhale, left fingertips go up, looking up at those left fingertips. Exhale, back down. Good, we'll climb it back over to the left. From here, stepping your back foot in generously as you fold over that left leg. Inhale, we'll lengthen out, exhale, fold. Bending your left knee, launching onto one leg for a nice warrior three here. So, if this is enough of a balance challenge for you, that's perfectly fine. If you wanna play around with airplane arms or bringing your arms by your side, out in front of you, just playing around, trying to balance here. Your hands can come to heart center. We'll try to come up nice and slowly here for three, two, and one. Big inhale, arms come up. Exhale. Coming to a nice chair pose, knees and feet together. Weight is in the heels. We'll pulse here for four, three, two, one. Relax your shoulders, knees together. Sink a little bit lower, a little bit lower. Good, inhale brings our arms up. Exhale, left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Option to open up here. Nice little spinal twist. The key is keeping those knees together here. Very important. Good, meeting back. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, three, two, pulsing, one. Good, the full chair expression. Arms can come up. Make sure you relax with the shoulders here. Gaze is forward. Back to prayer center. Inhale, lift. Exhale, opposing side. Right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Option to open. Look. Little balance challenge. Key is keeping the knees together. Inhale, we lift. And last time here, we get it. Pulse. Three, two, one. Arms come up. Relax through the shoulders here. Four, three, coming through prayer center. Two, and one. Nice little fold. Inhale, we'll come to a flat back here. Hands can go on your quads or down on the ground. Engage that core, relax your shoulders. Exhale, fold. Jump or step back to a push-up position. From here, exhale, lower down. Inhale, set yourself up for a nice push-up. Nice and strong. Drop to the knees if you need to. Inhale, lower. Exhale. One more. Here we go. Inhale. And exhale. We'll send it all the way to a nice downward dog. Good. Other side. Lifting that right leg nice and strong. Chest down towards the mat. Open up that hip. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, pulling it all the way through. Nice spinal twist. Right arm goes up. Frame that front leg, crescent lunge. From here, open up to a nice warrior. Gaze is over your right fingertips. Left feet are pointed about 45 degrees. Relax your shoulders. Inhale, positive energy in. Exhale, shake it on out. Again, inhale and exhale. Take your front palm, flip. Reach forward, reverse warrior here. You can straighten out that front leg a little bit to get a little deeper into the stretch. Oh, make sure you don't topple over though. <laughs> and then exhale, elbow goes to knee, extended side angle. Spin your belly, spin your chest. Everything's opening towards the ceiling, towards the sky. Beautiful, beautiful job. Use that left arm as momentum to carry you up. Spinning your right toes forward this time. Interlace your hands behind your back. Inhale, opening up that chest. Now I'm gonna twist so I'm facing you guys. And as you exhale, again, lead with your chest. Nice forward fold. Hands come down to the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left arm up this time, looking up towards those left fingertips. Exhale, down. Inhale, opposite arm goes up, looking up towards those right fingertips. Exhale, down. 
Inhale, flat back here. Exhale, fold. Inhale, one more time. Flat back, exhale, fold. This time we're gonna kind of crawl our hands underneath. And if the top of your head hits the mat, that's okay. If not quite there yet, that's okay too. Just trying to really open out things here. <sighs> Breathing deep. Good, all right. So from here, let's crawl our hands over to the left side. Take a nice little spinal twist. Inhale, left arm up. This time we'll drop the bottom knee down, come nice through a nice low lunge here. So arms can reach up nice and high, sending everything forward. So you wanna make sure you're tucking your tailbone under, sending that pelvis forward, getting a nice stretch through the right hip extensors. Exhale, nice little twist over towards the left. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, we'll take a nice runner's lunge, stretching out that left hamstring here, folding forward. Coming forward, we can rock onto the outside of that left foot. I want you to reach around, grasp your right tootsies, pull that heel in towards your bum. Now, this is when like a little loop band comes into play if you need one, or if you have a belt loop or something, if you can't quite grab that back foot, you can always use that for some assistance. Pulling that back heel in, opening up the front of that right leg or your quadricep here. Making sure you're spinning everything open as well. One more big deep breath. And we'll release out of that one. Good. Now, Framing that left leg, come on through to the nice crescent lunge, open up to a warrior. Flip the palm, reach forward, reverse warrior. Exhale, elbow to knee, extended side angle. Using that right arm to carry you, coming through the middle, warrior on the right side. Flip the right palm, reach forward, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Spinning that heart open towards the ceiling, towards the sky here. Good, this time coming up using the left arm to carry you. Windmill your hands down. Step your back foot in generously as you fold over that right leg. Inhale, we'll carry you out. Exhale, take your right hip, think of pulling it back and down. Getting a nice hamstring stretch here. And when you're ready, bend the right leg. We're gonna launch onto this right leg here. So from here, if this is enough of a balance challenge, stay here. If you'd like to play around with your hands, airplane arms, whoop. Good thing there's a pole there. And you can do airplane arms, so arms out by your side, out in front of you. Hands at prayer center. Try to come up slowly for three, two, and one, big inhale carries you up. Exhale, fold through prayer center. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. So, taking my feet out, I'm gonna come to a nice prasana here. So you're gonna push your elbows into the inside of your thighs, hands at prayer center here, making sure you're sitting deep Using those elbows to push those legs out, get a nice stretch through those inner thighs. And eventually we'll come to a seated position on the mat. So making sure your heels stay engaged with the mat, I want you to flip your palms open towards the ceiling here. We're gonna roll down one vertebrae at a time, super slowly for three, two, and one. Hug your knees in. You can do a little rocking side to side here. And extend your left leg, pulling in your right knee here. Shoulder blades come off the ground, right hand on the knee, left hand on the bottom of the foot. And your left leg is about an inch off the ground. We're gonna switch, little Pilates for you, switch. Engaging that core, eyes up towards the ceiling. almost like you're doing a bicycle. So remembering to 
to breathe every time we switch. So pulling in that knee with the hand on the outside of the knee, the inside hand to the inside of the bottom of the foot. We'll do three more, three, two, and last one here. Good, hug the knees in, rock and roll a little bit. And bringing both feet down, shoulder width on the mat. Palms are flat on the mat here. Relax through the shoulders, inhale on an exhale, lifting the hips up. Nice glute bridge here, relax through the shoulders, pushing through the heels. And we're gonna lower down one vertebrae at a time. So for four, three, two, one. Inhale, as you exhale, we'll lift, push through the heels. Nice hip extension, making sure those shoulders don't raise up by the ears and lowering down one vertebrae at a time, counting backwards from five. So first your thoracic spine, then the middle of your back, three, two, and finally your lumbar spine, and that pelvis makes contact with the mat. Good, arms out to a T. Bring those feet together, or the knees together, I should say. Inhale, on an exhale, drop the knees over towards the right. We're gonna gaze over the left, looking over the left shoulder. Big deep breath. Inhale to the middle, exhale, same thing on the opposing side. Dropping the knees over to the left, looking to the right, over those right fingertips. Inhale to the middle. This time on an exhale, take a nice glute bridge. Now bring those heels out. Bring them out a little bit further. And as we lower, we'll bring them in and a little more. So just wiggling them in, lowering for two and one. Hugging in those knees. We're gonna take a nice rock and roll forward and back. On the third or fourth roll, I want you to hold boat pose. So we're gonna be here. Palms are up facing the ceiling, lifting, relaxing through the shoulders here. Coming to a nice seated position. I'm gonna cross my right leg over my left here. We'll do a nice hip opener here. So sitting up nice and tall, as you exhale, we're gonna crawl our hands out. This is great for anyone who does running. Crawl our hands over to the right side. And then over again to the left. Back to move. Climbing on up. Good, same thing on the other side, crossing that other leg over. Inhale, lift, exhale, crawl your hands out. Inhale, exhale, crawl your hands over to one side. So making sure you're keeping that, that top foot flexed. So in dorsiflexion, pulling the toes inward towards the midline of your body, that's gonna give you an even deeper hip opening. Good, from here, climbing it on up. We're gonna take a right knee, so a nice little low lunge here, sending everything forward, just to make, make sure that we're evening things out here. Exhale, turning towards the right. Inhale to the middle. Exhale, nice little runner's lunge here. So nice hamstring stretch, folding over the right leg. Coming forward, rocking onto the outside of the right foot, hugging in that left heel towards your bum, twisting everything open towards the ceiling, towards the sky. Breathing. Good job from here. Coming back to all fours, tuck the toes, lift the hips, down dog, pedal things out. Inhale, tippy toes, exhale, heels. Inhale, tippy toes, chest down towards the mat, exhale, heels. 
walking those feet in, folding forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold or roll up. One vertebrae at a time to finish things up nice and slow here. Roll your head, shoulders go back and down. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. And rolling things up one last time. Big inhale and exhale. Hands come to prayer center. Awesome, awesome job, you guys. Thank you for visiting Launch Fitness. I will see you guys again soon and peace.